Now, in our previous problem, we came up with a graph which modeled airfares. We're going to use that in our next problem. A sales director who lives in City A is required to fly to regional offices in Cities B, C, and D, and then return to City A. Use the brute force method to approximate the optimal route. What is the total cost for this Hamilton circuit? We have listed here the six possible Hamilton circuits, beginning at A and ending at A. So we're going to use our graph to come up with the cost associated. Our first circuit is A, B, C, D, A. And that's going to take us around the square A to B to C to D to A. That's going to be 460 plus 720 plus 105 plus 210. 460 plus 720 plus 105 plus 210. This sum is going to give us a total of $1,495. Our second circuit, A, B, D, C, A. That's A to B to D to C to A. So that's going to be 460, 680, 105, and 200. 460 plus 680 plus 105 plus 200. That's a sum of $1,445. Our next circuit is A, C, B, D, A. A to C to B to D to A. That's going to be 200, 720, 680, 210. 200 plus 720 plus 680 plus 210 for a total of $1,810. A, C, D, B, A. We're going to have A to C to D to B to A. That's going to be 200 plus 105 plus 680 plus 460. 1,445. Next we have A, D, B, C, A. That's A to D to B to C to A. That's 210, 680, 720, and 200. So we add that together. And that total is $1,810. And finally, A, D, C, B, A. That's A to D to C to B to A. So we're going to be moving around the square in the opposite direction. That's 210, 105, 720, and 460. 210 plus 105 plus 720 plus 460. And that total is 1,495. And so the optimal route would be the one which costs the least. And notice that we have two of those that will end up costing $1,445.